Welcome back to part 5 of my Herbert of Vermandois game. In the previous part, I successfully defended a claim on my original county against the former Duke of Champagne, now my vassal. Uh, we then pressed our claim on his duchy and took it from him. And then we also had a little revolt against us, where we revoked a few titles. So now we're holding 5 out of 5. Our land is a little bit spread out. Uh, after we took his duchy, we got all his vassals from him, and it gave us enough land to create three more duchy titles. So we had a pretty quick rise to power after a slow start. And now the next thing that I'm going to be trying to do is... Getting a claim. Done. And pressing that claim, which is an entirely different beast. So he is allied to a few, but mostly just a lot more powerful than us in general. We have 5k troops with our ally, who we can't call because it's a vassal of the king, uh, but he's just a lot more pow powerful than us. So we're going to have to maybe wait until he passes away. Unfortunately, he's stacking health benefits, although he has got some penalties as well. Uh, maybe once he weakens a little bit, Maybe when he dies, we will be able to declare a little bit of an easier war. I'm not sure if this... Like, I know that when the Carlings in 867 lose control of uh, West Francia, it becomes France. But I'm not sure if it goes back to being West Francia if we retake control. I've actually never had this circumstance come up before, so it's going to be interesting to see the Carlings taking control back from the Capetians. Hopefully. We still have just the one kid. We have a daughter. She's 26. She's married. She has one kid as well. So our uh, our you know succession here is is shaky. It's very shaky. He's at least got Herculean, so he's really good. Uh, but I really would like another kid. I think our wife is probably just about yeah. She's 45, so it's not going to happen. Hopefully, our daughter has more kids. You know, if if something does end up happening and our grandson dies or something like that, we we could still overcome this. We can go and get a uh, a mistress or whatever, and uh, have a bastard that we legitimize. We do have control of the dynasty back now. We got our dynasty head back. She is a sinner and she is a woman and she is a duchess and the pope. Yeah, might be willing to just give us a claim on that. I'm not sure if we really need it. <laughs> But let's just take it anyways. Um, okay, this is actually an alliance. It's not going to last long. But n neither is our sister's uh, usefulness to us. So we might as well make use out of it while we can. So we could come and take this. It would just give us even more land. Uh, is this good? Is this what we want to do? I guess. The only other vassals... Oh, I guess all of these are vassals as well. Oh, wow. A lot of duchesses down here. Um, but we could always, instead of just declaring the war, we could um, create a little faction. Claimant faction. Just to see if there's any interest. Just to gauge interest. Who wants to see me as King of France instead of the Shield of Paris? Oh, at least one. Oh, she's into it. Okay, I, I, I guess I won't declare war on her. If you do it like this through a faction instead of just through a direct war, all the people that join, theoretically, are going to get hooks on you when it happens, though, which they'll then use to change their vassal contract once you become their liege, or they'll use it to... Uh, put themselves on your council. He's into it as well. Okay, I guess we are going to press this right away then. It would kind of be better to do it sooner if we can, because he might eventually create the kingdom of uh, Aquitaine, and then he's going to split his land in half when he dies. I'd rather just get everything, I think. Uh, I guess we can stop claiming this. We'll try to make peace odd. We'll try to make peace with this guy. He hates our guts. Let's sway him, maybe. <laughs> maybe all all can be forgiven. Grab a physician. And 
keep raising control in these ones that we own. Uh, yeah, this looks like I might just send this. You never know who's going to join and who's going to leave. But while we have two in here, I'm kind of tempted to just send it. Uh, our power is so much higher. He might just accept it, honestly. But yeah, let's just let's just send it and see what happens. I am now king of France. It happens that quickly. I went from a two-county count to king of France very very quickly. Skullcap of Charlemagne, awesome. Uh, what do we need? Robertine House Banner. Yeah, we're just gonna destroy that. And the Capetian House Banner, whatever, gone. Uh, back in are the Carlings. Yes, yes indeed. Here we are, back. Uh, and a shield. He didn't really have a lot going on here. I'm not sure exactly how much money we're going to be making, so let's just move this up a little bit for now. Diplomatic Court, or Scholarly. We can't switch yet. Both are fine, I think. Uh, let's just hold court really quick. Burn this heretic. Okay. So it stays France. Evidently. We are France. Doesn't go back. And now we got a whole bunch of duchies that we got to hand out. So let's give out Anjou to you, I guess. We got room for another county now. Eventually, I'm going to try to take Paris back. Maybe that should be. Uh, how much longer are we going to live on this character? Probably a little bit, actually. I'm sure we got a lot of vassals who are pissed that they're not on the council either. But yeah, let's start fabricating a claim on Paris. Because that's the one that we for sure do want to take and move our capital back there. Uh, what other duchy titles do we have in here? Champagne. Very, yeah, this guy. You can be Duke of Berry. And then I think that's only two that we're holding now, so we at least can just hold those. There is a problem here, maybe. Title, succession law, male only. What does that do to this? Okay, interesting. It really messes us up. My player heir becomes my cousin. What? Okay, so priority number one, I think, is just removing this law. Oh, I can do it right now. I thought it was way more expensive. 250. Okay, there we go. I can vassalize the Duchess of Brittany. I'm okay with that. Oh, wow. How close are we to Emperor? We need another kingdom title, which we can make. 75%. So we just need gold and we need the kingdom title. Wow. Aquitaine, I guess, is more important. Did I just go from two county count to an emperor like that quickly? It's pretty crazy. I will take this back from England eventually, and then we're just going to start, you know, grabbing duchies wherever we can. Might get into Iberia a little bit too, it's kind of fractured down here. Uh, we just need to save gold up. There we go. Is that it? Mm, not that. 85 of 88. I was misreading it. So we need three more. I thought we already had it. Uh, so Provence, why aren't you doing this? Okay, because you're at war. What's going on here? You are attacking the Holy Roman Emperor. <laughs> okay. Uh, what's the other play here? Duchy of Normandy, de jure? Yeah, we need 500. Okay, we're not too far, actually. Feels weird to have the capital way over here. Do I just, like, go on a little hunt or something like that? I don't really feel like going anywhere, though. Can I just do this? It's kind of expensive. Whatever. It'll get us the prestige we need anyway. 
So this guy has used it. Oh, he's got high taxes, so he got rid of that. Yeah, like, see, we can't do this after he's done that, though. Whatever. Uh, and then she was the other one who got a hook on us, I believe. I could just revoke from her, because we have a claim on it. But she's only going to accept it 38%. If I don't like what she does... With the hook... Then maybe I'll take it from her. And we've gotten control of French culture. So what are we interested in? Bailiffs? Hereditary rule, we can get partition now. We're already in partition. Okay. A bear. Let's go for it. Oh my god. Who's this? My mayor has murdered someone. Try to shoot the bear. I don't, I don't want to get near the bear. Sixteen percent. Uh, let's go for it. Oops. Oh well. <laughs> uh, nice. Okay. Eight percent night effectiveness. That's not bad, actually. Renown. That went good. Yeah. Hang that bear skull up. You should do the bear pelt. I don't know. Uh, anyways, we got the prestige that we needed now. I don't think he's really in a position to fight us much. We're, we're more powerful than him. We also do have our little vassal or our little ally. Nope, he died. So sad. <laughs> I can call him to war. 225 renown. He's a Cathar. Now nah, he's in a war of his own. He's not going to join us. Uh, yeah, let's just go. So this is our eventual heir. I might just try to skip over my daughter. We can like, um, you know, she might just die naturally from being obese. But we could always like help her out and, and then just directly play our grandson who's going to be a lot better. Content, humble, or cynical. Uh, given that our character's cynical, I think I'll just keep him cynical. It's probably my favorite to play with of these three. I think they're all fine, though. We don't really go for content playing French. Uh, our culture looks down on it. Craven and content. And this ends up being a minus 15 penalty of uh, same faith. So definitely not one that you want in this culture. Okay, that's way too long. Let's go and fight. Coinage rights granted. If you say so, can I just go and fight you there? Ooh. That's really close. We got him, though. You get a claim on the King of Aquitaine. That's just by pure land mass. That's not, that's not um, the Pope granting the claim. It's just by having so much land. So he's made the duchy title. We can now give her to him. Uh, I guess I'll do that. We're still going to be taking whatever we can back from him eventually. Are we not sieging there? What's going on here? The kingdom passed on, I guess? King William II. It's just taken forever to siege these. I guess I need more siege weapons. We still only have the ten. It's a little bit light for what we're doing. I don't want to spend too much gold right now just in case we need it for mercenaries or something. Yeah. Neighbors can be vassalized. Well, hold on. Hold the phone here. Forez and Provence. Well, now we got enough land to do it. Uh, but now we're stuck in a war, so we're not making that much gold. 
But yeah, we can make our empire title now as soon as we get the, the money for it. We, like, obviously I want to get this back anyways, not just to make the title, but it's... We don't want England in France, come on. Thank you. <laughs> How can you be humble but cynical? I, I mean, like, I, you know, whatever. We're not going contend, so I guess we have to take humble. Is this only 12? I thought this would go a little bit quicker. Does it heal that slow? Does that still work? We raise? Uh, a knight and some people? Okay, I guess we can't get that, whatever. Uh, yeah, okay. He's probably gonna get that back, but like, we can just re-siege it quicker than we can siege this, so we gotta make some progress here. How are you doing? You're in good health now all of a sudden. It's not exactly what I was expecting. All right, he's starting to actually like us now. He's he's getting over it. Mm. No, he's gonna get it. Oh, he gave up. Mistake. We're starting to starve. Can we get it done? I can always hire mercenaries if I need. I just would rather not. Oh, there we go. We got him. That's a wrap on that. Oh yeah, I got a level of fame. Oh yeah. No, we're not paying that. Renounce claims. Get out of here. Oh. Good additional tax timing. We are now emperor. How about that? Uh, we could actually just give her that kingdom title now. I don't really want to. Interesting. So we got one county out of that. Our counties are all spread around. I'll eventually take Paris, and I want to get this duchy from him, though. I'll move my capital into Paris whenever it happens. He's probably going to resist whenever I revoke his ca county, and then I'm just going to end up revoking uh, everything from him. <laughs> So we'll get it all back from him. It's just temporary that he's here. But anyways, the expansion goes really well. I went from count to emperor very quickly uh, after spending a lot of time just as uh, two-county count here. So we won't be the Holy Roman Emperor. Or I guess we could switch eventually once we get both titles, if we get both titles. But we became Emperor of France really quickly. Uh, this is kind of like the idea here restore Carolinian borders. I'm not sure if I'm going to go through with the whole thing, because this is a lot. Like, you, you need a lot. Uh, HRE is destroyed. Okay. Carolinian borders restored. Gain this. We gain primogeniture. HRE gets destroyed. We gain a couple. Heraldry. Knighthood. This is a lot, though. We need to get into Iberia. We need to get all this. Northern Italy. We need to get all the way down here. Corsica. I, like, I'm, like, you need literally all of this, not just some of it. Everything here. Carolinian Germany, Bavaria. All the way over there. Lotharingia in the middle. Frisia. And then everything here we already have, I think. Oh. No. So, yeah, basically, we need to take down the entire HRE. So the title is going to be destroyed like by the time we do that anyway. Not making as much gold as I would like, but that'll come with time. I guess we can just start prematurely raising uh, the development level in the capital, which we are going to take back eventually. Uh, yeah, that was a pretty quick rise to power. 
So now we are just about as powerful as the HRE. We don't really have much of a military. Like, obviously, we need to beef this up a little bit. Um, get some better land. Like, once we get Paris back from this guy, we'll be in a better position, I think. Um, I'm going to be continuing this on in the next part, though. We'll continue to expand our empire. Thank you for watching this. If you enjoyed it, please subscribe and leave me a thumbs up, and I will see you in the next one.